Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Happy Friday, happy August, month eight of the year. My God, this year is moving so, so quick. How are you? How are you doing? I am well. I have, this past week I have, um, done a few things just to see like what the next steps in my life look like <laughs> if you know what I mean um but yeah I I think I'm getting okay I don't know anyway how do you like my hairstyle I feel like such a kid <laughs> the last time I had cornrows this small was like when I was in primary school because every time I've done cornrows they've always been big and I told them I wanted medium I thought medium was like bigger than this but they told me this is their medium so i guess we'll be rocking this for a while for a while anyway um i'm trying to think if there's any major update in my life at the moment there's none there's none um like i mentioned i think i've mentioned this in like a lot of my videos my mind is all over the place um a few things have been crossed out but still my mind is just all over the place for now and i think it's gonna be that way for a little longer i don't know how long but yeah hopefully not too long so that i start enjoying and um, looking forward to christmas which is always my favorite time of the year now today's video is slightly different it's a bit of um it's sort of like a mix i think one of my videos i mentioned that i moved into obviously this cute little space because well the background obviously looks different um so you would know that something has happened have i been kicked out did i move did i you know all that stuff and i thought i should talk about this um particular topic because it's about time it's about time plus i think i have a few lessons to share so that is the basis of today's title now living abroad and living on your own abroad are two different things now you may have lived on your own before which I did for a short while but living abroad living on your own abroad very different very different now when i moved here i think i've spoken about how i was hosted by uh, family friends for a while before i got my footing and then i moved to like a shared accommodation and um shared accommodation in the sense that we're not sharing a room we're, we're sharing a house so everyone had like their own room and their own like little space in the fridge and all that stuff and then i started living on my own which i have been doing for a little while and the first thing that i have learned while living on my own is self-reliance self-reliance i rely on myself i one thing i think about me is <laughs> i don't know but um even my partner usually says like i'm miss independent and we've had this sort of like I don't want to say quarrels but disagreements where it's like I I I struggle to ask for help. And let me tell you, I did my IELTS test recently and it's funny but one of the questions was do you struggle to ask for help? Like am I in therapy? <laughs> but anyway, that is deviating from the topic. So yeah, one of the things I've had to learn is self-reliance. Something small happening I have to fix. The other day the smoke detector alarm went off. Have I ever had a smoke detector alarm? No. I had to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> um, I literally just went up there. I'm looking at it at the moment. I went up there, removed the battery for a bit, and then put it back on. Um, another day, I'm trying to figure out what happened, and I fixed it. Like, I have become a miss, miss or missus fix it. Um, and it's not just in terms of fixing things when it comes to like paying bills who is getting the bill me who needs to clear the bill me when it comes to cleaning which i've never had a problem with in fact i enjoy doing the dishes so that's never a problem 
but when it comes to like making sure the house is clean making sure everything is in order because in a way that also makes me feel good it is on me so i am relying on myself to keep myself alive to keep my space clean good and in tip-top condition now in australia if you don't know there's always inspections every few months so again i have to clean i have to wipe the ceiling i have to wipe the walls i have to because when they inspect the house and they don't like what they see chances are they could ask you to leave so you gotta stay in tip-top condition number two financial management the number of times i'm literally writing <laughs> the things i need because remember i'm on my own paying the bills this is not um me and someone else paying the bills for this house it is me myself and i so i have to sort of like see how much am i getting how much needs to go towards rent here rent is paid weekly so i have to make sure do i have this specific amount for rent this week do i have enough for food do i have enough for fuel because again where i live and where i go to work i could take the bus but it's a bit it would take a longer time so because of that i tend to drive do i have fuel in the car how much will fuel cost i have to be very mindful of the things i spend my money on and yes i've always been this girl who finds every reason to like reward themselves so i remember every semester i finished i would reward myself with something be it a laptop be it a phone be it an apple watch be it a trip like i find little reasons to reward myself on easter i reward myself on christmas i reward myself now that i'm graduating i'm like am i gonna reward myself do i have the money <laughs> we'll see we'll see but either way i still have to plan financially and even now i'm looking to to next year i'm looking towards next year and i'm like i need to set this amount on a weekly basis to make sure i'm able to do what i want to do like it's that serious it is that serious it's not easy another thing i've learned and i think i've never had an issue with this is time management so being a homebody a lot i'm just like i need to enjoy my rent i cannot be paying this much rent and all i'm doing is work then i go out and then work and i go out no 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 we are going to manage our time when are we going to work how long are we spending <laughs> our work is eight hours or however long we need to come back home and enjoy the rent if we're going out we're going for this long we need to come back and enjoy the rent <laughs> like i mentioned i've always been a homebody so it's not really an issue um i just usually try to have like social events here and there but not like excessively so still give myself time to rest still give myself time to enjoy the rent and the internet and everything and still give myself time to just sit and look at the views because I have really nice views if you so if you watch the video before this you'd have seen like a little clip of like a view that i usually get especially in the evening with the sunset so i gotta enjoy it i gotta enjoy it also in tied to time management obviously is like dinners and stuff like that um what time do i need to leave the house to get to work to go wherever i'm going and all that another thing i have learned is independence there's a time i was even thinking i was like huh i can have like snacks at this hour in my parents house that would never happen like what do you mean you're having snacks now when your mother is making dinner or whatever is making dinner no you wait for dinner or it's bedtime or it's whatever but now i am independent i create my own routines like if i want to go to bed i will go to bed if i want to doze off on the couch i will doze off on the couch if i want to watch all night i will do that hmm? nothing or no one will stop me <laughs> so yeah that is actually something i'm enjoying like i've learned and i'm enjoying it um it's it's sort of also pushed me to grow in a way because yes there's this little examples i've given in terms of what i can do but there's also things like what maybe i do not enjoy doing or what is sort of not right according to me remember what's right and wrong is 
different for everyone and yeah it sort of enabled me to sort of decide what i want for myself and do what i want to do when i want to do it <laughs> ever since moving abroad and this is gonna be my last point this is the first time that i've actually been able to explore my cooking the way i used to um when i was back in kenya because i love cooking i love baking i love doing all that stuff but then obviously living um with people like you can't really explore certain things the way you would want to um sometimes yes there's that possibility once in a while you cook and all that stuff but you know that thing where you're craving something and you go to the kitchen and cook it immediately like that that that's what i'm talking about like for the first time i have been able to explore like um my cooking my baking like those hobbies that i'd actually sort of put on hold because yes i used to cook but i used to meal prep a lot compared to what i'm doing now and maybe that's tied to of course having a bigger space to store food and stuff but yeah it's been really 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 good i don't know if you guys have any more tips or things you've learned um, while living alone um to share with me that i could maybe incorporate um one of the things i'm trying to do is try as much as possible to create like a cozy little space i try to add things here and there not to fill up the space per se but just to make it a little cozy a little warm a little you know comfortable and all that stuff i remember someone was telling me do a housewarming do a housewarming but for some reason i just did not see the need to um of course housewarming comes with a lot of things like people bring stuff but for me being a loner being um, someone who enjoys their space i was just like i want to do this on my own sort of thing and yeah whenever i'm ready obviously i'll just have people come visit but not really like housewarming and stuff so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if you haven't subscribed please 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 do so and as usual i will see you in my next one bye